again. So in the meantime, what I did, I, of course, I baked the, I actually got some water on these. I baked the pendants to get them ready. And then I also baked some background for the other things. So number one, what should I do? Let me do these because they need going to work kind of in between, jump from one to the other. So the first thing I'm going to do, as you can see, they are just plain black clay with the backing here. And the first thing I'm going to do is to, and you can use practically anything. You can make it uh, just a regular acrylic, uh, I think, uh, I forgot which of the brands, Deco Art or whichever, but they have all beautiful acrylics and they have something like a dark green and a peridot. So, first of all, I'm going to place a little bit of the color shift. Hello back everybody. And this is the emerald flash and this is the dragon flash. And uh, while this is um, drying, I am going to work on the bezel for the other one. So I'm first of all, I'm going to do quite a bit of um, diluted color shift. Because you want it to look and you can use blue as well for a more of a starry night kind of stuff. But I want it to look almost like fog and make sure not to get the uh, air bubbles. Hello, hello. And then we'll put these aside and uh, to let them dry properly and work on the bezel of the other one. Okay, so this was the emerald flash and you can use just one color. It is actually, Linda, uh, I was amazed yesterday and I was uh, video chatting with a friend and uh, I lifted my arm to put something. I have one of those microwaves above the range and I lifted my arm to put something in the microwave and I was able to lift my arm without pain, which was, oh my God. So see how I'm coming now and I'm practically filling up. Uh, also remember whenever you're using the color shift colors to always shake them really, really good. So I'm coming with the dragon flash and I'm filling up. If you want, you want to uh, use one, come back once again over the color that you've already done because this pattern is going to start showing both the one the color that's underneath and the color that you're applying on top of it going to leave these to dry mm. 
because you need the paint to be completely dried. All right, now these are the two. One is a little bit thicker, one is a little bit thinner. And I am going to use the thinner one to make it as is. I'm going to put some decorations and stuff on top of it. Um, and I'm actually not going to put decorations. I'll show you what I'm going to put on. Um, and on this one, I'm going to make a frame, a bezel. And that can get baked while we are working on other stuff. So for this, I'm going to use some pearl white. And you can use whatever texture you want. What I recommend is something that would be kind of liney. Uh, like this one, if I'm not mistaken, is grass from um, Cool Tools. You can use Helen Braille's Jitterbug. Uh, you can use Makin's Wood Grain. You can use actually Wood Grain. Uh, but you'll have to get some uh, lines, liney stuff. So as usual, I'm going to first put some armor all and you once again I'm saying this every time because there are new people and even if the people who have followed me for a while know what I'm talking about the new people don't know uh, I'm always putting the armor all on the clay never put the release agent on the texture because it's going to pull in the recesses and it's not going to protect your clay And then I'm going to use some wax. And um, it's up to you how you want to use, if you want to use the clay on the tile or if you want to use the um, texture on the tile. I'm going to do it backwards. Usually I put the um, texture on the tile and then I put the clay on top so wish me luck because we are expecting some bad weather and my, <laughs> my hands are not working very good well I did I did a relatively good job all right now it could have been deeper, but oh well, that's all I can do. Uh, remember the jitterbug? You can uh, put it through the machine with the clay. But to be honest, when I'm working on um, on uh, bezels, if they need to be a little bit thicker, I'm not going to use... Uh, a clay that has been gone through the machine with the texture because that thins it out a lot. Now, let's see. How wide should I make it about? This should be okay. And if I didn't do enough a good job, I'm going to be able to come back and fix it. So number one, we need to place some bacon bond on the edges. I already uh, sanded it to be nice and smooth. And you can see no more problems about having bad edges. Oh, by the way, I, I'm going to post, probably, I, mean, I need to look for it, and I'm going to probably post it on the Facebook page. I saw today, there's this, I think she's Russian lady, who's doing cake glazes, and she's using the same technique, she's doing those mirror glazes 
that is used in acrylic pouring including all the boo blooming and stuff i was absolutely mesmerized watching her doing those cakes okay first i'm going to make sure i cut this at the where one of the lines is recessed lines is and I'm going to place it at the on one of the sides and remember you can always 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 and even if you don't have a texture I'll show you what you can do uh, you can always 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 convince the clay to do exactly what you want because you're the master of the clay not the clay the clay is not the master of you and I'll come back here and I'll fix it should have gotten a line by pressing on the other one I got a line here and that's what I'm going to cut and then bring it over and get it to join here Make sure it doesn't lift at the corners because it will have the tendency to come a little bit up see like here on the corner see how it's raised so just press it down a little now of course you'll have to work a bit on this joint here and if you don't have any kind of uh, texture with lines you can simply use a screw I've shown before how to use a screw or you can just make your own lines but to get here to get it more because we are talking here about mica shift and it will have the tendency to do that if I would have gotten a better imprint it would have been nicer but I wasn't able to remember in my all my descriptions it says there will be days in which I can show you how to do it but I won't be able to do it myself so you can just go ahead and you can use a needle you can use the back of your exacto knife And you can make a nice liney. And why you want liney? I mean, you can use practically any texture. But I find that on this type of pendant, the liney part uh, matches better the fine needles. Let's see how this one, this corner is raised a little bit too. Yes, you'll have to go around it. Yeah, with this texture, I intend to do a pretty tutorial. 
So who I didn't see today yet? Gladys, I didn't see you in the first round. But then I don't always see the chat. Okay, now to make it even more worked, more professional, professionally worked. I still think that I have here a little. You can go ahead and do on some of the edges here, continue the the lines. Not on every single line, but on some of the lines that just go where it meets the edge. And continue it a little bit over the edge. And the other thing that you need to do is make sure you grab this off. And another thing that you can do is to simply put a, and let me get a very thin, going to get a very thin line of this. cut a very thin strip if you want to make it even more pro you know it at the edges. Your best bet is to start in one corner again Elaine thank you for the moderation Practically, you imitate uh, the setting of a piece of jewelry. And again, make sure that you get these nice and smooth here.
and before I do anything else first I'm going to put a little bit of decorations and you can use whatever colors you want let me see if I have any spare stuff here because I usually do let's see I have some goldish stuff no we don't want goldish I might have to grab a dot of red or something because the red is the best Or you can make, like I showed last uh, Sunday, you can make a little pine cone effect. But let's put a decoration on or two. the itty bitty doodles doodlers okay so I'm going to get this on a thin setting thank you Isabel and then I'm going to okay, let me get it one more time to make it squarish And I'm going to cut a very thin line of the of gold. Actually, I'm going to cut two lines, and you'll see why. One thinner, and the one one a little bit thicker. So, with the thinner one, I'm going to place it here. And then I'm going to take a little bit of wax paper. And I'm going to burnish that line in. When you're burnishing, only press, you never roll. And there it's perfectly even and then I'm going to grab a few doodlers and it's better when you make more than just one uh, pendant you know And I'm getting various sizes. Okay. once my bacon bond is clean and no it's not and I just wipe on the edge Come on. it keeps getting stuck to the thing to the other finger not the one that I wanted stuck to not really where I wanted it but we'll have to, it will have to do Stay there. 
apparently it loves my finger better than the it's okay Judy should I put some alcohol on my fingers uh. okay and with this wider one We are going to put the decorations end and then you can do a little bit of on it and I can put a smaller one. Oh, come on, sit there. And then once this is done, you can put um, what do you call it? Um, a varnish on it. I wouldn't go for for. Um, A resin because it would make the whole thing way too heavy so for the next part if you want to make it even more uh, blingy you can grab a little bit of glitter a little bit larger glitter But this you can honestly do after it's baked because you can uh, glue it on with the varnish. You can make a little line of varnish. So before we glue this on now, a little bit of gold wax on it and this is the aged brass of um, art alchemy you can find it both in my Amazon store and uh, in uh, polyclay play And this is going to shine nice once it's baked and hardened and you can also put on top of the white you can put if you have any of the opal magic waxes those will work beautifully as well so let's get this in the oven and get to work to the other on the other ones I'll be right back
Okay, give me just a minute to clean my finger. And now for the next ones, because we are going to use it also on the reasonable thing. This is going to be resin too. Uh, they still need a few minutes. I don't want to put the heat gun on them. But I'm going to show you, I don't know if you're uh, aware of this, and I'm not even sure if I got them in the store yet. Oh, come on. You know of acrylic pens? They are pointers. They are kind of like... Uh, like a Sharpie. Only that they work with acrylic. Let me see what other color I want. I want the white. And let's give it a yellow and an orange. Yellow, yellow, not orange, yellow. eyeglasses again you can make on this you can make all kinds of I didn't start these yet so hopefully they'll work they have the good rating I hope they are not dry So to start them you need to shake and then to press on the tip. Well, I should have prepared them how it starts coming. I should have prepared them before starting this. It's coming, it's coming. Just takes a while. Well, I wanted to do something, but any, let me not uh, keep doing this because it's a waste of time to make them start. I'm gonna just use acrylic paints. going to use the some regular I grabbed another color shift oh well so I'm going it's much easier with the markers okay with the acrylics you have to be very careful not to make a mess and to be very precise I guess I didn't realize they would be so hard to start so you can make some ornaments yes this is not very opaque you can also place some uh, oh goodness this one is almost dried hard to get the lid off. What in the world? Hold on a second. I have so many acrylics that I don't manage to work with them all the time so they start getting separated and they need really hard mixing. Okay, let's make another 
ornament here. We'll come over it with something else. And as I said, it's much easier and you can find metallic uh, markers and pens in all kinds of stuff, even very thin tipped to do all this. I've gotten a more goldish one than this. The extreme sheen always needs a lot. No, not with alcohol, Judy. It's acrylic paint pens. You don't want to remove the acrylic from the tip. Probably can moisten them with a little bit of water, but don't want to have to go back and forth in the kitchen. And it doesn't look very good and I didn't mix this very good. can make some tinsel garlands on it. And of course you can put some dots on the ornaments. But this would be pretty much it. Now, let's get back to these ones. And I'm going to do something on them. You'll see it's very, very complicated. I forgot I have these. Just a second, I'm checking I'm checking some other stuff that I have here. Let's use some glitter pens on this before I do anything else. Because I've had these glitter pens for a while and I never tried and never used them on anything. Yeah, you can put uh, little beads too. Okay, let's see how we are here. Okay, let's just make some garlands. These I got from Pali Clay Play. And 
and I know that I wanted to show you how to um, decorate uh, bone or ornaments with them. You just need to let them dry. What is BBS, Elaine? leave them so you can see better. Hi Tina. And this is a holograph. No, this is silver. I'd also have some holograph. And you just need to let them dry. But they are fabulous to do glass ornaments with. Now think how this is going to look once we cover it with resin. And you saw how easy it is to use. Hmm. This still needs to dry. So let me try and see if I can stick the little things on the on the glitter instead of on the resin. Can you see is it can you see what I'm doing on the piece? Do you want me to go zoom closer? Actually it looks more like a thread of some sort than it's not Angelina. I dropped it. I think I'd better let these dry properly before doing other stuff with them. Hmm. Just wanted to show you how to arrange these this is not dry yet, but you can put some glitter on it as well. Yes, they do. Yeah, the pens are fabulous to use. Well, this dry. Hold on, let me grab a... What do you want again? Let me grab a glass bowl. Just a second. Go to bed. You're not eating anything.
I found these large light bulbs that, oh, uh, light bulbs, uh, Christmas bulbs that look like soap bubbles. They were on sale at Hobby Lobby. So let's see how this looks like. The main thing will be not to get yourself, oh, not to smear stuff. I didn't work with the Viva glitter pens before, so I don't know how long it takes for them to dry. Probably a lot, a long time. It says detailed instructions inside. Hold on. And you have to remove the label, so let me see. Give me just a minute. Uh -huh. Viva Decor is so smart. Okay, so it draws in, dries out in about three or four hours. So I guess we won't be able to finish this. So yeah, that wasn't a very good idea to to use these. But anyway, let's see how it looks on the uh, balls, because then I can hang the the ball from something. So let's start here. They look gorgeous on glass. Beautiful. Let me grab another color. Whisper, go to bed. Don't pester me. It's not four yet. You're not getting food yet. It's driving me nuts. Okay. Okay. So you need to be very careful when you place it to keep a an even pressure but they are wonderful to to draw delicate stuff see how pretty it looks and probably on uh, bowls covered with polymer clay too there I missed the spot it's kind of hard for me with my hands to do this okay I'm gonna starting to get very tired I guess I'm gonna have to stop here because I've been <laughs> for like two hours almost and I'm making I'm starting to make messes so I guess I'm gonna have to wait and show you another time how to how to use these and I'm going to place this into something so it wouldn't mess up and uh, I'm sorry I just cannot probably very pretty I just cannot sit on the chair anymore my back my the muscles on my back are killing me I started getting spasms so um, tomorrow I don't know if I'm gonna be able to post anything I'm sorry I wasn't able to post anything yesterday as I said about uh, what I was hoping to do but that putting up that tree killed me and I hope you enjoyed making the 
pine tree branch cane and you'll try yourselves and remember the best uh, your best thing and what i noticed if you make this one and remember i showed you last time how to make those little pine cones those look beautiful 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 on this type of uh, a pendant and you can um, reduce it even more and make earrings as well or make uh, put them on a jar and make tiles for a tiled bracelets <coughs> thank you so much i'm gonna go lay down i'm so sorry see you next sunday and hopefully i feel better next sunday i love you all thank you for being here with me good 